And create problems. And create problems. Yeah. So uh, we have to learn how to deal with these things. We're gonna, I'm going to get into, uh, in a few minutes, uh, get into uh, what can you do about it. You know, when you, when you bring up problems and you have no solution to them, mm -hmm. and, uh, the old saying goes, and you're part of the, the problem. Yeah, and I, people, it's important they understand, first of all, that it is a problem. Uh, mm -hmm. That if you suffer from migraines, memory loss, if you feel fatigue, uh, if you have trouble sleeping, it could very well be related to this new pollution that's not really getting enough attention, electrical uh, EMF radiation pollution. Um, and there are ways to reduce it. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to do. It's not necessarily um, um, well understood. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can do things to protect yourself. Yeah, even um, in juicing, most of the juices are electric, and they have this uh, EMF, same, same force. And uh, one juicer that I have, we found that it protected the juice. It had something that diverted mm. the, uh, the EMF, mm -hmm. or, and, and therefore you, it didn't contaminate or, uh, shall I say, um, actually take away the the total the totality of the nutrients that were in the juice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes uh, but sense. who thinks about that who <laughs> thinks about you know just because you have an electric motor that you have to be concerned about the this emf uh, but uh, i true. guess it's it's there and if we're going to be uh, aware of what's going on around us we need to know it's not just one thing it's when you start adding these exactly. things Exactly. It's cumulative. Cumulative. Right. It's yeah. time and exposure. Um, the, the factors that you can control are, again, uh, mm -hmm. limiting your exposure to it, mm -hmm. keeping it a good distance away, mm -hmm. and there's, an other, there's other technology called uh, harmonization, which mm -hmm. helps reduce the impact of the electrical force uh, to a degree that it's less harmful or less, less impinging onto the body. Okay. Now, most people will say, I'm pretty sure, <coughs> maybe even in this audience, that, uh, oh, well, well I, I understand that the, the, um, the most of the, the um, problem is right near the antenna, but I use a headset. Mm -hmm. So since I use a headset, that's protecting me from this EMF. Well, you've got two problems there. First of all, most people keep the phone on a belt. Mm -hmm. or in their pocket. Mm -hmm. And you realize even though you're not talking on it, it's on right. because it has to be sending out signals, I'm here and I'm open to receive mm -hmm. signals. So you, you're being subjected to the radiation with or without the headphone. Uh, the headphone is a wire connection and everyone knows antennas are made out of wire. So when your unit is on, it's probably putting out five to ten times more energy than it needs it during idle, and some a lot of that radiation can be transmitted through the wire right into the ear and into the brain. So it's not necessarily protecting you. Uh, there is a company that has made what they call a hollow tube um, earpiece, which is very, very clever and very, very effective because instead of having a wire, the wire it comes to a transducer, mm -hmm. which is away from your head, and then a tube hollow tube, sort of like a flexible straw mm -hmm. they used to have in the airlines when you'd listen to a movie. Then the sound is projected through that hollow tube, which basically insulates you from the energy. So that is one of the ways you can protect yourself. It's called a hollow tube earpiece. Do you have any, um, can we show our audience anything? Do you, have, well, we, you don't have to do it now. We have the, information here. Not, oh, yeah. okay. We well, have a, there's a particular company we were pretty impressed with, and mm -hmm. that's part of the research we did to find out what the problem is, and Dr. Carlo is involved um, with this company having done the research to help them develop this technology. Uh, and it is available. I'm not sure if they're the only ones, but this one I've seen, it does work. And um, can it be, oh, we, we spoke about the hair dryer. What about the hair dryer? Can it protect against the, the hair too? What the, this company has done is developed a, um, a harmonizing, they call it a chip. It's about the size of a nickel, and it's a little rubber-coated device, and inside of it, has a laser cut, uh, laser cut titanium disc, and that is tuned basically to help harmonize the radiation, reduce its effect. And if you were to take that and apply it to the back of your cell phone or your cordless phone, which is a radio transmitter, or onto a vacuum cleaner, hair blower, whatever, it will help reduce the radiation uh, that reaches you. Mm-hmm. 
So actually, people are, in a sense, uh, cooking their brains when they're using yeah, these yeah. Un uh, devices unprotected. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, uh, there's some excellent laboratory photographs showing people after just 15 minutes. And it, uh, you've probably seen it's called thermography. Yes. It shows heat. And it shows uh, a cell phone being used for 15 minutes and the heat that's generated around the ear and into the brain. And then when they put on this uh, harmonizing chip, they take the same photograph and the area is more blue-green instead of red-orange or mm -hmm. yellow, mm -hmm. indicating mm -hmm. that the heat is down. And actually by using it, and we've been using it in our family for close to a year, and uh, it's, it's helped a lot. We mm -hmm. don't have headaches. We don't feel that heat. Uh, we're sleeping better. So there is a lot of, uh, a lot of good ingenuity and technology available uh, if one is looking for it. Yes, because I know many people that uh, experience the headaches. Mm -hmm. You know, after using the cell phone for a while, but they feel as though they have no uh, no other option. Mm -hmm. But now, I guess, uh, we'll 1-800-328-1173, uh, and uh, if anyone needs more information, I'll be glad to uh, forward it on to them, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff, and, I, and I'm sure you're going to agree to this one, because uh, you did point out where when you're being subject, subjected to this EMF force, mm -hmm. that it causes the cells basically to go crazy. In other words, it, um, it creates, uh, creates many aberrant cells and, and also mutations and so forth. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you can also nutritionally help some mm -hmm. by taking in uh, really good antioxidants. Oh, very important, exactly. You know, like from the grape seed and so oh by the way hmm. that grape seed oil that should be uh, advantageous also right well yeah that's on another topic we're another topic about, but you know, yes but briefly yeah um, fats are part of our diet uh, we need to have fat protein and carbohydrates mm -hmm. to live eliminating any one of them or reducing them below a certain level could actually be disadvantageous to your health but it's the quality and the kind of fats that you consume mm -hmm. that make the difference, mm -hmm. that keep you healthy or could lead to heart disease or strokes or other uh, problems. And the biggest problem is uh, what they call trans fats. Right. Okay. Trans fats are more or less made by man's interference with an oil. Natural oils that are what they call cold pressed, like olive oil, and you mentioned grapeseed oil, they literally press the seed or of the olive, mm -hmm. they crush it, and then the oil that comes out of it is a virgin oil mm -hmm. that's healthy. Mm -hmm. Okay, it has mm -hmm. no cholesterol, it's not saturated, and uh, it tends to stay relatively stable in a dark can. Mm -hmm. um, what they've done in the, uh, to, to extend the life to stabilize an oil so it can take more deep frying mm -hmm. and be in a nice clear glass on the shelf for months without going bad, mm -hmm. is they've, they've, they've developed a process called hydrogenation. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. But now you're creating a new compound that's not natural in the oil, and it's a trans fat. And trans fats have been linked to a lot of health issues. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, audience, uh, Jeff Baer knows his oils. He used to be in the food oil business. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. a, really a, a very large supplier of uh, olive oil, uh, mm -hmm. uh, prime and, olive And the corn oils, and we had both in our factory. I mean, mm -hmm. the demand for soybean and, and corn oil and... Uh, Canola oils was as, as high as or higher than ever before, uh, but due to the demand for the marketplace, uh, the process of hydrogenation was uh, used, mm -hmm. uh, and we never we didn't know then or we weren't being told then of the factors of uh, of what happens when you hydrogenate an oil. Um, mm -hmm. It's coming out now more and more. Oh, more and more. So. And, th and once again, uh, involved in all this is the creation of free radicals, of course. Correct. And that's one of the reasons why uh, you want to use your antioxidants uh, liberally in terms of that. But you also must practice prevention. Yes. And prevention is what we're going to be, what we're talking about right now. And uh, we're going to show uh, some of these measures that you can take out there that you can take to help protect yourself against these EMF forces that are really very harmful, especially to your children. Now, I don't know anyone who would want their child uh, at that young and tender age where their brain is being developed to have anything uh, uh, destroyed or disrupt the natural uh, growth of that child or mm -hmm. harm mm -hmm. their brains in any way. 
So if they could protect, I think that would definitely be the thing to do. 